We're back and uh, with us now, Josh Blackwell. He's the new regional vice president of Volunteers of America here in central Louisiana. Back home, been in Colorado. So Josh, uh, welcome back home. Thank good you. Good to have you this morning. It's good to be here. Uh, well, I, like you said, I just recently accepted the position with yeah. Volunteers of America. And you know, it's been nationally, it's been here for 120 years. Yeah. Okay. Um, we've been in central Louisiana for the past 30 years now. Mm -hmm. So this marks our 30 year anniversary. And we started back in 1986 with, which many people may know as our adoption services. Right. And we've expanded that to now 11 different programs that reach four different people groups. Mm -hmm. So we reach out to the homeless, the veterans, individuals with disabilities, which would be those diagnosed with a mental health right. uh, crisis, and then also to children and families. Our Children and Families is probably our largest program, and that really services uh, a variety of different peoples. So that we have our pregnancy services, we uh, offer ESL classes, English as a second language. Uh, we have tutoring for adults to learn to read and write. We work with uh, pregnant moms and new parents, low-income families. Mm -hmm. So we really have a broad spectrum at Volunteers of America, it which sure is great. It sure has grown, hasn't it? It has. Yeah. It really oh, has. God. So our staff is is doing a phenomenal job, and really, uh, one of the things that intrigued me about this, I've, I'm coming from church work. Right. So I've right. been in church world. I was going to ask world. you, yeah, what attracted you to uh, VLA? Yeah, so I've been in church world now for the past 10 years, mm -hmm. and when we decided to move back home, uh, Volunteers of America really captured my attention because it is a Christian organization, mm -hmm. and it's really ministry-driven and focused. And right. so when I learned right. that, I was like, wow, I can still do ministry uh -huh. uh, and in a practical sense. Um, so a lot of everything we do, all the services that we offer, one of the most uh, beneficial aspects of it is that we get to uh, walk in and meet with clients mm -hmm. and meet with uh, the needy, the homeless and, and veterans and, and people that just are in need of our services and really uh, share the love of God with them uh, before we offer the services. So we get mm -hmm. to pray with them and we get to say, hey, look, there's hope. There's a plan for you. God has a plan for you. Uh, and then we get to say, all right, now let's get you in a house <laughs> and you know, let's, let's provide the service that you need. Let's Let's yeah. help you become uh, you a more equipped parent. And more self-sufficient. That's right. And that's the goal uh, yeah. for all of our programs, really, is moving our community to self-sufficiency mm -hmm. and self-sustainability. Um, so Sounds like you go through a process with each one. Take it from... Absolutely, okay. yes. And so some of our programs, of course, are, are federally funded. Mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of our funding, of course, comes from the community. And right. so we ask our community to invest in Volunteers of America, invest with us in, in making a difference. So our programs vary depending on the needs in sure. the community. Sure. Um, which is why we no longer the adoption uh, possibility for that. But now our services, of course, as I was explaining, with veterans and, and homeless and, and yeah. children and families, they go there. So we have about a $200,000 funding gap, which is the difference between what we expect to receive from the government uh -huh. and what we are looking to raise. Uh, so we're still about 115000 short, uh, and we have until the end of the fiscal year, which is through June. Uh -huh. uh, okay. So we're looking, and of course, there are volunteer opportunities communities as well. Uh, you know, you can be a tutor, you can help with homeless outreach, a lot you can of things provide. You can do, yeah. What Absolutely. are some of your main fundraisers? What are some of them? So we have a spelling bee uh, that mm -hmm. comes up in, in the summer of next year. That's for our partners in literacy. Uh, we have uh, Light Up a House and so just different programs and, and fundraisers to, to where we can, uh, you know, really reach out to the community and say, hey, we're here. We would love to, to, to make a difference here in central Louisiana. And help us along the Absolutely, way. Absolutely, yes. Best way to get in touch with the, the with VOA here in central Is to Louisiana? check out. We have a Facebook page. Uh -huh. uh, of course, you can check out our website at VOA sinlaw.org uh, and of course you can always just swing by our office at on Coliseum Boulevard. Josh, welcome back home. Uh, looking forward to visiting with you some more. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Three three small kids, right? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Adele, Mary Lee, and Jude. You're a busy guy. Yes. Oh. Very much so. Welcome back. Thank you. More to come. We're going to tell you about a baseball clinic. Stay with us, but first our community calendar.